Nice sweatshirt. One's probably Paul. He said it was going to work. Paul. So the big TV. Oh, man. I'll have to do a shout out to him. <laughs> Here we go. All right. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's the Toad Hall Morning Show. Rock and roll, toadies. Woo! Woo! Look at look at that headband. Do you like the headband? And that's ready to rock this morning. Good morning, everyone. We are ready to go through, and we got a fun show. We have, we're going over George Thorogood. We're going to talk mostly about him in depth. Not only because I like him, but Annette is a huge Thorogood fan. We've had this discussion many times in the store that we are someday going to see him. Probably this summer. Hopefully. Hopefully this summer, all, all things considered. So, I, in September, September. And I don't understand. I should have researched it. It said he was playing at Summerfest. Did they change Summerfest to... Yeah, they September this because year? of COVID, they moved it to September. Oh, yeah, cool. That'll be nice. It won't be as hot. No, well. Summerfest is in the be. July. Holy cannoli. Oh. Sometimes it's not pleasant. No. A <laughs> Sometimes. Warm, you get all the people. September would be, could be perfect. Oh, couldn't it, though? It's such a beautiful venue out oh, there. Yep. Um, I have some concert DVDs we're going to go through, talk about, including one that's signed, just came out today. We got some new cassettes, cassette players, some trade ins. I got three MoFi records. So yeah, we got we got some stuff to talk about today. Hey, you know what today is? Uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday eighteenth. It 18th. is National Cheese Souffle Day. Thought I'd add a little different flavor to the video, you know. To, you hey, National Cheese Souffle Day. Uh, yes, and uh, okay. The word souffle comes from the French verb souffler, which means to, to blow up or puff up. Okay. So there you go. Now you have your little. Uh, National Cheese Souffle Day, and you knew, know what souffle means. I I learned something new. <laughs> Didn't even think that was coming today. No, see, I just would mm-hmm. try and figure. I out like it. Go. I don't. I don't hate it. No, just put something fun out there for a little bit. Yeah. Um. I mean, so Annette and I have been trying to go see George Thorogood for what seems like forever. Uh, we almost drove two hours one, one, a couple of years ago to go see him up in the Dells. Yeah. But it was like a weekday. Weeknight. Weeknight. Yeah. Well, two hours away each way. And we're like, eh. Yeah. That would have been. It would have been a stretch. Bit, Maybe yeah. looking back, you know, if had we known COVID was coming, we probably would have done it. Oh, guess what I got? What? My first concert tickets oh, since the beginning of COVID. Annette has purchased her first concert tickets. Yeah. What'd you purchase? What'd Cheap you get? trick. All right, July for, 4th. fourth. Yeah. So any of you who are local to the Rockford area or Chicagoland, Milwaukee, Madison, Iowa area, uh, there was just a large festival announced here in town. Well, it's Love's Park, but it's basically Rockford. Uh, Friday we have the Gin Blossoms. Mm-hmm. Saturday we have Jeff Tweedy of Wilco, yep. and Sunday we have Cheap Trick. Correct. And there's two stages. There's some other bands playing before the headliners, of course. Um, it's, it's called the Long Play Music Fest. Which is plays right into yeah. LP, a Long exactly. Play. Um, so if anybody's in the area and... You want to check it out? General admissions are $12 a ticket. For Friday, Saturday, Sunday is $20 a ticket. Fireworks all three nights. Free parking. Free parking. Right. Beer, food, amusement rides, mm-hmm. carnival rides. Did we say fireworks already? Fireworks every night. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I mean, yeah. it's it, we're just... This is... The best thing I've heard. Paul's never seen him, so I kind of I wanted to get tickets. So uh, also shout out to her husband Paul, who's probably sitting at home watching this on oh, the big no, screen. I'm not showing any people on here. So. so, so yeah, what do you have for? I'm excited to see what you got for Thoroughgood. I just messed up my screen. Well, you'll get it. I got it. It's it's all right. There we go. So what do you got what for? What do you have about him? What do you got? Annette did her in depth research. Way too in depth. It took, Way too in depth. I had like before I even knew it, I had four pages of notes, and then trying to scoot them down scoot to him a, down. to a spot where we could talk about. Um, so we got all the thrill good out yeah. today. And I mean, come on now, he's going to be touring this year too. That's awesome. Seventy-one years old. Holy cannoli! Half the time I can't even get out of bed without taking a couple Tylenol before I hop out of bed, and I'm not even near that yet. Well, I'm getting close. Yeah, and you know he lived them hard. Yeah. Uh, so, one of the, I thought this was a really cool quote. I can't, I don't know who to attribute it to because it didn't really say. It said, if rock and roll were a dinner menu, 
singer guitarist George Thorogood would be the meat and potatoes. There you go. Yeah. He's put on over 8,000 live shows. Oh, he's right up 8, there with Cheap Trick. 8,000. With the Mr. L- tour, Lifetime Tour and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. they did put in, I don't remember what year was it, um, they did that 50-50 tour. It was 80 or 81, where they did 50 concerts in 50 states. Holy cannoli. Um, without a break. Yeah. The, yeah, it's called the 50-50 Tour, one that took the group to 50 states in 50 days without a break. That's insane. So 50 days, 50 states? Yeah. Is that just crazy? That is crazy. Wow. I think that, well, at least he wasn't, I mean, he wasn't too old at that point. You could do it, you could do it when you're younger. Um, he's going to be headlining at the Illinois State Fair this year. How about that? He's coming locally as well. Which, unfortunately, State Fair for us is like way down at the bottom of the state. It's... It's yeah. a haul down there, what, five hours? Yeah, it's easier for us to just go to Wisconsin, go to <laughs> exactly. Summerfest. Yeah. Um, and it, they, he and 38 Special will be closing out the uh, 11 performance musical slate, which begins August 13th. Okay. So if anybody's around and wants to see him that's down in that area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then you get, you know, when you're, you're talking to some different areas down there. Yeah. Other states that could pull from Iowa, you know, mm-hmm. Indiana and Kentucky and. Yeah. So. so the band formed in 73, 1973. Okay. In Wilmington, Delaware, which okay. I believe is where he is from. was born, right. Um, and here's one of his quotes, which kind of makes sense. I'm a Chevy Nova in a world of Rolls Royces. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that I can do. Don't overrate me. I'm not that versatile. So 77 seems like um, the year that his albums started appearing in record stories. Okay. 77. Um, started to come on the scene. self-titled. Yeah, start self-titled. And I don't right think here? we have that in here. Let's look. Let's take a look and pop some up of what we have. I just pulled the whole stack. I didn't even yeah. look this morning. Oh, that, was that a single there? It's a single. I'm surprised we don't have any self-titled. Right. Is this a self-titled? And the destroyers? That might be. Or here's a that might be the self titled. Yeah, because this is from eighty eight. What is this one? Massachusetts. Oh, this one's born to be bad. Right mm. there. I got uh, I it's guess on, his, guess it's on his shoulder. On his arm there, the born to be bad symbol or sign. This has gotta be the self titled right here. Now Rounder is I think the label that he started on, Rounder Records. If I'm not mistaken in this one. Um, one bourbon, one scotch, he, one beer is on here, though. Yeah, and it should be. Because it says it had that on it. It has um, Madison Blues. Yep. So this is probably This it. is it. This is his self-titled. Is that the same one I have here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Mine's in shrink, these. though. Yours is in shrink. We got nine bucks on this one. You're going to have to pay an extra dollar for the one in shrink. Oh. <laughs> so there we go. There's the the start nine of, and ten. The start of it all. The start. This is the first one, huh? I mean, mm-hmm. look how young he looks. He just looks like a long-haired kid on there. Seventy-three, and it was, he would have been twenty. Depending on what year that was recorded, seventy-four they recorded a demo. So he was just in his mid twenties. Yeah. Kind of like you are right now. So yeah. <laughs> yeah that ship sailed. <laughs> Did you know that he pursued a career as a baseball player? I did not know that. Yeah. He played on a semi-professional team, which he continued for a while after he reached rock stardom. Interesting. I would have never a have guessed. Baseball guy, huh? Yeah. That's, a, that's amazing. So then, do we have to move it on over in here? they got a cool story on the back of this record. Sorry, okay. guys, I'm reading it. Oh, he's reading. But it's okay. It's all right. We can move on. This is probably worth buying just for those two. Kind-hearted woman, can't stop loving, ride on Josephine, homesick boy, John Handy, Hardy, Delaware Slide. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah, there is a number one fan on the back of this album wrote a letter. So that would be interesting to read. Yeah, that's cool. So 78th, they release, uh, release Move It On Over. Do we have that one in there? I we, we have to, I would think so. <laughs> Move it on over. Right, there we go. So the title track of mm. the Hank Williams song was the first single, and it received plenty of airplay 
this was this is his first of, of this album right did he how did yeah. he how do you do on the first album did mm. it like explode I well they've sold over 15 million records as of this point not bad since 1976 hey i mean most people million. don't even sell the only person that sold a million records last year was t swift right so, i mean yeah 15 million over a career that ain't bad um let's see this and oh, so he's got a couple covers on this obviously that was one of the things that he was criticized about is that um that he did a lot of cover songs and on this one, it did re, uh, Hank Williams' song was the first single, and it received plenty of uh, airplay. So that's the Move It On Over song. Sky is Crying is on here, and too. Sky is Crying and Who Do You Love are both on there. Who do you love? <clears throat> By the end of 78, this uh, reached the top 40. Oh, so this is his first top 40? Yeah. Nine bucks on this one. We got probably nine on this one as well. And the album went, hit gold. Or went gold, whatever you want to call it, selling more than five hundred thousand copies, so half a million copies. Pretty cool, huh? I like that they're not expensive, and these things are yeah. rocking records. I mean, that's two for two, really. Mm -hmm. like these are uh, these are killer records. Okay, what was then? What happened? Well, they played and played and played eight thousand shows and fifty and fifty, and I don't have a whole rundown because drinking there was bourbon. just too much. And drinking stuff. scotch. Yeah. And drinking beer. Yeah, <laughs> and playing guitar. And playing guitar. And live shows. Um, so then just uh, bringing it up to a little more current day, and you probably know this, it might have been before I was around, but um, they released the top-selling limited mm -hmm. edition 7-inch single for Record Store Day, but I don't know what year. Do you remember that at all? It's been a while. It. And then they saw... Reissues of their legendary Bad to the Bone, Born yep. to be Bad, and Greatest Hit 30 Years of Rock Albums. Um, they were re-released on 180 gram colored vinyl. Yes, I remember when they all came out. We only have Bad to the Bone. It doesn't say colored vinyl, though. No, it doesn't. I Which didn't sometimes know. Sometimes they do that. They, they don't give us indication that it's yeah, colored vinyl. They didn't used to put a sticker on everything like they did. This is 2018. So it could have been a, that could have been right. Yeah. $21 for a brand new Bad to the Bone. So that's not, you know, for a new record, that's not bad at all. And what's really nice is, um, as in past years, a portion of the proceeds from every date on the Good to Be Bad Tour, which is the one that's this year, mm -hmm. will benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Hmm. So that's really nice, get, giving back to Yeah, that's nice. That's yeah. a great, great thing for me. Here's a used, I got some used... Uh, bad to the bones too. They're eight, eight bucks, and nine dollars. One's in shrink, one's not. These things look like brand new. Yeah, I don't think they've. I don't think they've been played too much, which is a shame because bad to the bone, man. I was in love. That was like, as a kid, that was one of my favorite songs when I was real little. So what else do you have there for albums? Well, we did bad to the bone. We did it new. Here is live. Oh, that's here's a album. live album. Mm -hmm. And it's like, of course, it's like a, a hits record. It's got Stern. I Drink Alone, One Bourbon, One Scotch, Madison Blues, Bad to the Bone, Sky's Crying, Reeling and Rocking. Nine dollars. Still here. got the original shrink on it. Here, you want to do this one? Just those two. Oh, we did this one. This is the Born to Be Bad with the. But we didn't talk about what was on it though. What's on it though? It seems like there's a like. There's a song on every one of these records that you know. Oh, yeah. Like, you sing it, you're like, I know that song. This one's got Shake Your Money Maker on it. Ooh, which yeah. was then covered by, well, it was then, a, this is probably before the Black Crows. 88. Assume. Oh, yeah. Um, what else do we have on that? Treat Treat Her Right. Really Born like to girls. Be Bad. This one's really hard to read. On. It's got red print on the back, so I'm having a little bit of a problem reading some of this stuff you talk too much there's one you i really like much. girls is on here <laughs> smokestack lightning i got i got seven bucks on mine what do you have on yours seven bucks there you go not expensive more george thorogood and the destroyers he looks pretty young here too this is 1980 unfortunately this is a little bit of uh Water damage, so it's six bucks for this album. This one's eight. I got a nice clean one here. Oh, you got another here. copy of it there. 
House of Blue Lights. Nighttime, one way ticket. Look at this label. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's, that's, not, the that's, a, that's a different Rounder Records yeah. label. That's kind of cool. 1980. I'm wanted kids from Philly. One way ticket, bomb in the sea, nighttime. Nighttime. Dun, dun, <laughs> man, Ooh, we got Nick singing. Always. Every one of these records has a song I know. Like, there's not a there's not a dud. So this one is George Thurgood and the Destroyer, Destroyers, better than the rest. This looks like you. I'm not. This is when he had switched over to MCA. So I wonder if this is because it's got in the nighttime again on it. Um, oh, this, I wonder if this is. Yeah, this is a promo. Is I'm holding the promo copy right here. Right. Got a promo stamp up here. Oh. Seven dollars. Yeah. Mine's got a pro promo. Oh, there you go. Yeah. First, first come gets gets the, gets the promo. So this was put out in 1979, but it's looking like the album was recorded in Boston in 1974. It took them five years to put that out. That that would be like right at the beginning of. I don't know. Career. We'd have to look into this. Yeah. It's weird because it's on, like you said, it's on MCA. MCA which so I think, like I said, it could have changed some things. Um, Huckle up, baby. I thought it was. You're going to miss me. Nadine's on this one, which one of his influences was Chuck Berry. Okay. Um, Howlin'. Is it Howlin' Wolf? I'm trying to remember who some of his other influences were. I thought I had it in here, but apparently, uh. Kyle was on the other two pages she cut um, off. No, 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 no. I found it. He has relied heavily on his influences, which include John Lee Hooker, Elmore James, Chuck Berry, Willie Dixon, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, and Bo Diddley, which definitely comes through in his music. Oh, yeah. Hearing some of that different, uh. I love that blues rock. Mm mm. Mm hmm. Sure do. How about this? This is a single. Obviously, Ooh. it's an I Drink Alone sim single. <laughs> and look at this sticker. Don't don't, don't cocktail plus car. <laughs> Check that out. Look at that sticker oh right there. Gosh. I Drink Alone. Uh, this side's got, uh, what do we got here? Rockers Against Drunk Drivers. It's rad. Instead of, instead of Mad Mothers yeah. Against Drunk Drivers. It's uh, I Drink Alone. And on the other side, it's I Drink Alone. It's okay to drink alone, but don't drive. Ten seconds. So is this like his uh, public I drink announcement? Alone. His public announcement record? It must be. <laughs> it's probably for radio play. It's like, uh, you know, if you're writing a song about drinking yeah. in this time in time period, you probably had to give a little, you know, it's okay to drink alone, but don't drive. Ten right. seconds. Like a little public service announcement. Yeah. And then That's followed by the public, song. That's why I public service announcement. Yeah. Not a... And this one's got the Rockers Against Drunk Drivers as a 30-second spot on this side. Hmm. So that's kind of cool. It's obviously, it says not for sale because it was a promo. It's $6 if you want a cool... Uh, we should listen to that today. We might have to put that on before it goes out the door. Absolutely. We just got a couple left. Um, we might as well knock them out. Here is Maverick. What do we got well, here? $7. This one's on it. This is the first one I've seen that has that on it. Only in the hand job. I drink oh. alone. There you go. There's the song we were, the single we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Memphis, Tennessee, Crawling King Snake. For, what year is this one from? Pixie Fried. Still looks pretty young on this one. 85. 85, yeah. So, there you go. Then we've got this one left here. And we got one left. We have The Sleeper. This is, this was the last release we received. This is the latest record story record we have in the whole store. So, because we didn't get it till this year. We didn't get it. So obviously the record story Black Friday is in November of 2020. Right. It didn't show up in our store till like February. We got an extremely late shipment. And it was a stack of these. Mm -hmm. Everyone on the of course was calling for them. They were trying to get them on record store day. Everyone was clamoring for them. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. It's because they didn't exist yet. Three, four. We have them now. Four LPs in here. Four LP. The entire live concert available for the first time on vinyl, featuring 12 previously unreleased tracks. Mm -hmm. It has an exclusive poster, red marble vinyl, and limited to 1,000. Only 1,000 made. Four LPs for 70 bucks. That's not bad at all. And limited to 1,000. Right. That's amazing that we got. I think, I mean, we, 
because obviously when things come super late, they give us the option of opting out because they're so late. Obviously, they're kind of harder to sell mm -hmm. because the buzz is gone. We took them all. So I think we got like seven of them, um, which because we're Thoroughgood fans and we know they'll eventually sell, we, we still take them. But um, definitely uh, a rare, more and more rare uh, Thoroughgood piece there. So the, And as we usually say, these are available. Give us a call. This one's probably on our uh, yep. Kimball website. That one should be on the website. So if anybody is interested, it's available for sale. And, 70 bucks for four LPs. And it's a flat $7 shipping rate. So if you want this, you want to pair it with any of the other ones you've seen or anything else in my store, it's a flat $7 to get it to your door. Exactly. And yeah, the website's toadhallonline.com if you haven't checked it out. So aren't oh. you happy that we finally don't have to wear masks? Oh my gosh, the mask thing's done. Oh, finally. It's like that, and all of a sudden, masks are disappeared. You see them. I, I mean, there's some places I'll still wear a mask, like, yeah. you know, go to the grocery store, anywhere there's food, you know. But yeah, uh, just have to use common sense. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I know you wanted to talk about something else, too. I did? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so our fantastic new employee here, John, who has yet to make his camera appearance, uh, has been working diligently to a he restocked our whole used vinyl rack in our store which is massive he then went through and inventoried all of our used vinyl on our website and this week we're going to be adding hun hundreds mm -hmm. of used vinyl records up to our website i think i just uh, actually crates of up them uploaded about 50 of them when i worked saturday i think there were some that had been worked on yeah. That I didn't upload on, so there's going to be more. There's, more yeah. Than... So they won't happen probably much today. Right. I would say maybe Wednesday, Thursday, but towards the end of the week, you're going to start seeing these things pile up um, on our website. A lot of fresh, you know, just good old fashioned used restock mm -hmm. vinyl coming up back up on the website. So uh, check those out. Uh, we always hand grade all of our records. So it'll, you know, you'll click on it, it'll say, you know, cover grade. Label grade. Yeah, you actually you know, have to go into the to get the, the details to go on into it. Into the uh, entry for that album and go down into like a description field. And it'll have all the information mm -hmm. on that. On so the if record. you're wondering about uh, grading, it's down in there. It'll say cover and it says album, and then it yep. gives the um, grading for each one respectively. Yep. There. So that's really exciting. We haven't probably really loaded that up in months, so we're excited to get some new used vinyl up on the website yeah, for you guys. The shelves were looking pretty bare over there. Yeah, they're, they've been hit pretty hard from uh, all the customers over the years. Um, what you got there? New cassette. The new St. Vincent record came out last week, and this little cassette showed up today. And I didn't even see this, but it must have sold out. I was off a couple days last week, Thursday and Friday. I don't remember. That must have come in. They went super fast. Week. Yeah. They went super fast. The The St. Vincent Daddy's Home cassette, it's $17, which, you know, for a brand new cassette, we don't have, that's the only new cassette we have in the store right now. But you could put it with your brand new Ooh. Crosley Bluetooth boombox cassette player. That's sweet. How cool is that? Look at that huh. thing. Look at that bad boy. Radio and cassette player. I mean, who doesn't want a portable Bluetooth speaker? Okay. That like, is really cool like, well, on top of all I mean, of just that. a Bluetooth speaker right right off the bat. That's six, people drop 60, 100, 200 bucks on a Bluetooth speaker. Show up to the beach with this bad boy this summer. <laughs> you throw your cassette bag in there. Play that. And then you're, you know, you're at the pool or whatever. And you're like, okay, the cassette's done. I'll just Bluetooth to it. Use my phone. Yeah. And no one's going to mistake that for theirs. No. It's like, that's, I have that. Oh, speaking of that, another public service announcement here. If anybody has pools and they're chlorine pools, <laughs> get your chlorine because that stuff is, is what toilet paper was last year. Impossible Super to, to find. Impossible to find. Yeah. I just ordered a 50 pound bucket. So, yeah, just throwing some stuff out. Yeah. Uh, well, go ahead. No, I was going to say. What, what else do I have in my piles? Oh, what other piles like that? Cassettes too. You know, oh. we don't have any of those online. No, we don't. We are all, we're only a, a small group of people. Yeah. We're a small tribe to trying to get the whole mountain on there. Uh, Peter, you, you said you missed out on the train mofi. I think I might have a couple left. There might but be. I, I'll have to look in my back stock. 
But while we're on that topic, I might as well hit what I've got left. Um, and it's not much. We sold out of our blood, sweat, and tears one steps this week. Wow. We sold out of our, well, Nielsen's was last week. Uh, we're down to just the pretenders. I know someone on here said they got their their Yaz from us yesterday. Nope, they're expecting it today. Oh, they're expecting it today? Yep. Yanks one fan 09. I've got a couple Yaz left, and I've got some O Mercies left. These That's are the, all? This is it. And I might have, like I said, a couple trains. I'll, I'll dig in the vault and see if there's... I know those are getting really low. Um, this is it. This is all I got. It's the lowest I've ever had. That is crazy. We sold through all of our Duke Ellingtons immediately. Um, and I'm, these are probably not on the Mopi site. I would assume these are all out of print. You know, I still got $26 on the Yaz. I got 36 on the Pretenders. Um, I just have a few. I need to make sure they're in stock. Um, so, yeah, not a lot on the Mopi. I haven't gotten any used stuff in. Just kind of coasting on that stuff. What's that? I'm going to reveal the next Ryan's record review. So if you guys haven't checked out on the channel, I have a new uh, weekly video thing we put up on Wednesday mornings where we review a record um, maybe that was overlooked or mm -hmm. something that was maybe missed because something else was going on at the time. This week, tomorrow's video, we are covering Sturgill Simpson's Cut and Grass Volume 2. So I'm going to just talk about it for a minute okay. while we have a second. Yeah. It's a bluegrass album. Okay. Do you ever listen to bluegrass? Mm, no. This one might be Not worth on checking purpose. out. <laughs> so it's Sturgill Simpson. I, have you ever familiar with him? Yeah. With his music? Yeah. Horns, blues guitar, mm -hmm. country style outlaw kind of rock and roll outlaw country. Um, he took his songs and he puts a bluegrass twist on them. Do we still have any of Volume 1 left? Yes, we do. Okay. This is the Indie Exclusive Volume 2. Okay. We have the regular Volume 1. Not the, We're out of the Indie Exclusive Volume 1. Um, but we do still have the Indie Exclusive Volume 2. Um, bluegrass album. We'll get into the nitty gritty of this. But it's cool. He takes his songs and he bluegrasses them. Wow. How cool is Interesting. that? Interesting. And it's, it, it's done really well. Um, again, check out that video. will be dropping tomorrow morning. Uh, you know, check that out. If you like looking at record reviews, like learning about new music, our episode one has been up on the channel. You can mm -hmm. just go into the channel, check that out. Grandson was the record we did last week. Ryan's mm -hmm. still in love with that record. He's and still playing the snot out really? of it. Really? Yes, he is. It's Rise Record Review? Is that the name yeah, of it? Yeah, his name show? is Ryan. Okay. But Ryan's Reviews is taken up by a millionaire nine-year-old who reviews toys on YouTube. Oh. So we had to make it Rye. That's, ry that's okay. rise record review but that's the name of it okay. yeah well it's it's in the like i said just go to the channel you can find it so uh brad he says he'll take the yes yep. give us a call as soon as this stream is done we'll get your info we'll get you taken care of we'll make sure the yes gets to you i had a trade in this week wow so that it's looks like a box set this is crazy so <laughs> Like two weeks ago, someone traded in all the records from this box individually. They did not give me a box. I didn't give you the CDs. Bought them, posted them, sold them immediately. All the records, boom, they sold in one day. The five days later, like four days later, someone trades in the full box of the Garth Brooks set. Remember when that came out? Was it last year? Yeah. And they made, yeah. And they were not expensive. I mean, mm -hmm. when they were new, they were like 75, 80 bucks. Yeah. They were really affordable. But look at what you get in this box. By the way, this one's like brand new for fifty dollars. One, two. There's two LPs. No fences. Here's a giant poster. Oh wow! Which looks like it's probably almost the same as what the cover. It's is. probably two by six. Yeah, it's probably the cover in a long, elongated fashion. You get what is this? This is pieces in pieces. Fresh horses. All the CDs. Oh my gosh. How many CDs are in there? Seven. It's the four plus the three that are in the live album, Yankee Stadium Live. So this is a three LP set, three D C D set, four CDs, and all the vinyl for fifty dollars. So seven LPs and seven CDs? Yeah. For fifty bucks. For fifty bucks. And a poster. Poster and a box set. Holy cow. And it's not like you can just go find used Garth Brooks records. No. Like, they're impossible to find. 
on the few occasions we've gotten the first Garth Brooks records was printed back in 1987. If that record does float in here. It's a hundred dollar record. At least it was like two years ago. Last yeah. time I got one. Huh. Um, it's probably worth more now. So yeah, if you guys are into Garth Brooks and some people are, some people aren't, but uh, yeah, that's, what a trade in for fifty deal. bucks. That's a it's a smoking bucks, deal. Wow. Um, and that's that's kind of what I got for this week. I mean, we went through that. Oh wait, 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 wait. We got DVDs. We forgot yeah. to do the concert DVDs. Let me just forget something. Concert DVDs. So. I walk in this morning, and there's a stack of DVDs on my, because I'm off on Mondays. I come in Tuesday, and there's a stack of these on my counter, on my, my workstation. And I for, I even forgot I, own, I, I ordered these. These are Mark Farner from Grand Funk Railroad, signed. So these are from one of our distributors. They got these uh, exclusively, and it's him live from Chile with Love. And he's doing a giant, it's, a, it's an awesome concert DVD, 16 live performances, five bonus tracks, five bonus videos, um, all on one DVD, $16. Wow. Signed. Signed by the guy from Grand Funk Railroad. Um, how cool is that? Are You Ready, Rock and Roll Soul, Foot Stomp and Music, Bad Time, Aimless Lady, Paranoid, Into the Sun, All You Got Is Money, Creeping. Uh, Sins of Good Man's Brother, Sweet Little Rock and Roller, Heartbreaker, Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful, I'm Your Captain, Ooh, Closer to cool. Home. It's got bonus tracks. Um, how cool is that? Yeah. We don't we don't get signed stuff, uh -uh. opportunity to get this stuff. No Obviously, they don't sign a million of these. Usually, they're limited to 1,000 or 500. Um, we got a little stack of them. They're not even on the website yet. Annette will be putting these on this afternoon. Okay. Um, Otherwise, you can call. We can get you one uh, for sixteen dollars. But I, I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of break break into kind of some of the other kinds yeah. of DVDs we have. So these should be on the website. If you can't find them, again, you're welcome to call us, email us, whatever. This is a brand new Bruce Springsteen box set, live in New York City, E Street Band, two disc set, fourteen dollars sealed. Live in New York City, three hours of live music. That's a lot of Springsteen. Yes, it is. For me, it's a it's too much. Bruce Springsteen. Well, you could watch one DVD. Then. You could watch one. I would. I'd probably do that. Five point one digital surround sound, interactive menu. Ooh, eleven never before <laughs> seen live performances. Um, what do we got here? Mud vein for you metalheads. Three dollars. Is this uh, special video features? Um, this looks like it's I don't dig. I think it's a uh, I think it's a live performance with videos. Eurythmics, brand new, never even opened. Extraordinary video features in cancer performances, conceptual video clips, animations woven together. Eurythmics, five bucks sealed. How about Beatles unauthorized. Ooh. Two dollars. One of a kind compilation offers fascinating, entertaining, and surprising look at the Fab Four. With rare newsreel footage, candid revealing interviews, basically anything they could find that would played on any TV station ever, they put together on a DVD. Unauthorized. Yeah, about that means that. the band doesn't get anything. <laughs> oh. Well, well, you know what it means. It's probably all, like I said, it was all uh, public, public, news public stuff, stuff, and then they compiled it. Pearl Jam Twenty, which is. A fifteen dollar DVD, kind of expensive for, mm -hmm. a, but uh, Pearl Jam stuff, you know, you don't get a ton of it. Um, so, this is a chronicles of the years leading up to the band's formation, the chaos that ensued soon after the rise to mega stardom, their step back from center stage, the creation of the trusted circle that will, world surrounds them. You want to take a couple of these? Yeah. I feel like I'm talking a lot. Cadillac Records. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, I've seen the movie. Oh, baby, that's one of my that's favorites. A good movie. Uh, two bucks, so this is uh, based on the rise of uh, Chess Records. Good movie. Yeah, great if you movie. Haven't, if, you're, if you're into that kind of music, this is like a must-watch. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's got Muddy Waters. It, not him personally in here, but... Pe people portraying them. Because this movie's from like the mid-2000s. Yeah, so Muddy Waters, Little Walter and Chuck Berry, Willie Dixon, and Etta James, and Beyonce... Plays out of James. Great movie. Two bucks. Yeah. For that one. That's a fun flick. Yeah. What else? Got the jazz singer. 
Ooh, that's a pricey one. Twelve bucks, like Neil, new for new. I want to party with you. <laughs> what movie was that from? Saving Silverman. Oh, that's where right. they have a Neil Diamond cover band. Yeah. A great comedy flick if you haven't seen it. I I did take it home after Nick told me about. Oh boy, it. it's so stupid I think and hilarious. Got it on the website. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, it's we one got of those that's stupid and hilarious. Oh yeah, absolutely. Jack 12, Black. <laughs> Twelve bucks for this one for. Okay. You know, that is a really hard movie to find. It is. The Jazz Singer, like, those don't just fall out of the sky. I mean, I know it's not. Neil Diamond isn't exactly breaking sales records in the store, but he's got a following. Mm-hmm. I have one left of the Sharon Jones, Miss Sharon Jones. Uh, this is uh, best music film since 20 Feet from Stardom. It won, uh, it won all these film festivals, South by Southwest, Toronto, Sarasota, Duck NYC, Boulder International Film Festival. $23. Um, it's, uh, she prepared, this is basically the story of Sharon Jones, her cancer, mm-hmm. how she beats it, uh, and the struggles hold her band, the Dap Kings together while battering her way back to stage. Unstoppable uh, determination of Sharon Jones. I did not realize we had that. I love Sharon Jones. Yep. These came out for Record Store Day a few years back, and this is the last one we had. This came out like she had passed and then it was like the very next record store day. Obviously, this was already shot and already right. done. Yeah. And then, it, it, so it was just uh, kind of sad. Luckily, I was fortunate enough to at least see her once. Maybe twice. Really? I, I might have saw her twice. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's awesome. I was able to see her. What do we have here? A little bit of Miles Davis. Miles oh, baby. Harris. Look at the little image they got of him on the back. <laughs> it's so funny. They like... Kind of like Photoshop him out and put him in the back. Twelve dollars, Miles in Paris. What do we got on there? Is he doing KOB or what? Mm-mm. Um. What kind of songs? Let's we got? see what we've got. So this was recorded during the tenth Paris Jazz Festival in nineteen eighty nine. Okay. Um. It uh, it includes interviews with him. That's cool. Yeah. Some of the songs on here: Human Nature, Jilly Hannibal, Choo Choo. Wrinkle, New Blues, and Mr. Pastorius. All right. And then there's some, in between those, there's some, probably some of the interviews and whatnot. So 12 bucks on this. Oh, I see. What, yeah, you're right. They yeah. chop it up. That's cool. Like on number four, they're showing it's Miles on the media. So obviously, do a little chit chat with him about some of that. Complete left turn. Bon Jovi Lost Highway, the concert. $7. It's my life. One step closer. Last night. <laughs> you like that? Mm-hmm. It's my life. And then wanted dead or alive. Woo! Who says you can't go home? Seven bucks. And now a total no- another turn. Oh, going yeah. Bon Jovi to Kenny G. Sealed new. Three dollars. Three bucks. Live at Montro, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. There's people who collect all the Montro yeah. stuff. So I mean, that's 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 cool. So that was actually the 20th anniversary because the Montreux Jazz Festival was started in 1967. There so you have 20, it. 2021 year anniversary. How about Moby Play? Four dollars. His videos, Moby's Mega Mix. Give an idiot a camcorder. Live on TV. Uh, and then there's some stuff you can put it in the computer. It looks and get. like. The case makes it look like it should be a video game, doesn't it? Cause it's kind so of. White. Yeah. It's it's got everything, you know, videos, some live concert, some like handheld footage. Cool. It's not, Moby doesn't exactly put out a lot, so Mm-mm. if you're a Moby fan, you, you gotta kind of get what you get. Remember, did you ever see Walk the Line? I did see Walk the Line. The the Johnny Cash, video the movie, which was phenomenal. Did you see? The spoof movie? Yeah. what I don't remember. what. Walk Hard? Walk Hard, yeah, with um, Will Ferrell. Uh, he Will was Ferrell in it. It was, was it? yeah, everyone was in that yeah. one. Uh, both good movies. Mm-hmm. This one, obviously, true to uh, the Johnny Cash story. Two dollars. Got those in stock. Got Gorilla Days. So this is my one of my dad's favorite live concerts. Can you believe my really? dad? He loves this. Oh, he said this one he's watched... He says he's watched it so many times, he's like, I don't need to see it again. He's probably watched it 20 times. Wow. It's the gorillas. 2005. It's at their peak with when Demon Days came out, which is obviously a huge, huge record. Uh, they did this concert, and it had the whole thing, and it's done super well. 
He says it's very entertaining to watch. It sounds good. It's the festival is the Manchester International Festival in England somewhere. Yeah, in Man well Manchester obviously, duh. <laughs> so 2005, 12 bucks on that one. Larry's favorite. One of his favorites. Wow. Yeah, that's a departure for a classic rock guy. <laughs> We got a double Michael Jackson guy here. Is this this is it? This was obviously the one uh, he was getting ready to go on tour before he passed. Uh, this one's sealed, brand new, two dollars. So it's basically like a concert, but it's it's the concert, but it, not in front of an audience because they, he didn't go on. The, but it was pretty much all done. So it's like a they call it a rehearsal, but um, and then it's all behind the scenes footage of him getting ready mm -hmm. and all the other stuff. This is. Uh, Live in Budapest on the Dangerous Tour. Two dollars for this one. This one is straight up concert footage yeah. for two bucks. So MJ went. It's too bad he passed when he did. And all after all the BS in the media, you know, say what you will, but we kind of pop music kind of needs someone like Michael Jackson mm -hmm. right now. So what do you got? What should oh, we go and then I'll finish. Two dollars for three dollars. Two disc set. Have you seen this movie? No, I have not seen this movie. Very good movie. This is probably one of so the this first. This is not a musical video. This is nope. more of a. This is an actual movie. It's like Walk the Line. It's what oh, they okay. call them the the pic, documentary pic, bi, biopic. 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 This is probably the first cool, biopic cool. I ever watched when I was little. I rented that bad boy on VHS back when I was little. Wow. Because I got it in the doors before we owned the store. Um, it's from 1991. Yeah, 91. It, he did an excellent job uh, walking through the craziness that was the doors. And the biopic of Jim Morrison. Who played him? Do you know? Did uh, you say? Yeah, it does. It's uh, somebody big. It was um. Uh, Bill Fulmer. Yeah. Meg Ryan. Okay. Some big names in there. Oliver Stone produced the whole. Or also directed. starring Billy Idol. Kathleen Quinlan. Interesting. No, I have not seen this one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a early biopic i mean from 91 no one was doing it yet no so three bucks and then i got one last one videos from the sellers the atlantic years the rat videos this one's must be pretty damn rare must be. 45 dollars wow. on this unreleased videos it's got five videos uh detonator video action from 91 and unreleased stuff bonus commentary I'm guessing these must be pretty hard to find if they're priced at that. So, all right, next. One more left over there? No, this is the Mark Farner. We already talked oh, okay. about this. Uh, next week we are going to dive into RSD already. That's right. It's, mm. We already over. We went through the month. We're less than a month away from yes, RSD. We are. Correct. It's time to bust out those lists. Start coming through it. Start talking about it. Next week, we are going to do an RSD episode. We are excited to finally... I have to refresh my memory. It's been so long since I've even thought about that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel like it's all new again to me. Oh, that uh, list is massive. It's like over 425 items on between the two of them. Um, not sure how we're going to break it down. We'll figure that out. But we're going to have a big uh, RSD week next week. We'll talk about the new arrivals. Hopefully, I'll have some MoFi's, some new vinyl. We'll talk yeah. about all sorts of fun stuff next week. Uh, until then... Obviously, get a hold of us here at the store. 815-226-1259. ToadHallOnline.com is a website. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the whole nine yards. We're out there. You can find us. Um, we're open every day.